Hello guys, today I will show you a few examples of soft deletes in Laravel. You can call them tricks or I would call them creative examples of how to deal with soft deleted record. And I'll show you two examples, one from admin panel side and one from public product catalog example. So first the admin area, how to achieve something like this. Imagine you have this table of products which is powered by a regular controller, so route resource product. And then this is the product with ID 6. And if we delete that, it's gone from the table. Yep. But in the database, it is soft deleted because we have deleted add. In the product model, we have soft deletes enabled. But then what happens if someone, other admin, or for example, in internal Slack chat, they shared the direct link to that product and that link wouldn't work anymore. So for example, if you go to view product ID 5, it works but product ID 6 would just throw 404 not found for someone, for some admin user who has that link and knows that the product should exist in the database. Even if soft deleted, probably it means inactive anymore. So here's the thing. In the resource controller, you may add with trashed, assigning specific methods that would use route model binding. So in product controller, for example, in show we have route model binding in edit and in update. So if you add with trash with those specific records, that would mean that in the index method, in the table, that product would not be shown. But if you go directly to this link, we will have this. In this case, show method does return the product with route model binding. And then, for example, on that page, you may see something like this. If product trashed, then you may just inform that it's trashed or provide a form to restore the product, which would, for example, lead to admin products update route. Let's go back to the controller and update could be something like this. This quote is not fully implemented. It's just for demo purposes, but this is the main point. If product is trashed and if we have restore as a parameter, which is here in the blade as a hidden parameter here, then we restore that and redirect back to successfully restored. Let's try it out. Yep. So this is how you may deal with soft deleted record from admin area, add with trashed to those methods, for example, and then inform the user in the blade that the product has been soft deleted. Now, second creative example is about the same products, but for catalog in public. And this is even more common example. So someone has a link from the internet to a specific product, which may be soft deleted by them, but then you have a choice either show just regular 404 not found page or inform the user that the product has been deleted and instead redirect to catalog or show regular non-deleted items potentially related to the soft deleted option. So for example, here's the catalog and let's click on any product, the same product six, which is open and not deleted yet, but let's delete it from admin panel, delete, confirm, and now product deleted. And if we refresh that page, by default, again, it shows 404, which is not user friendly. Again, if someone has that direct link from someone on the internet. So one of the creative options, and I will show you two ways how to deal with that. For example, you can do the same with trashed with show method. And then in the controller, if the product is trashed, then you may, for example, redirect to product search or product list with some parameters, including that soft deleted product ID. And then in this case, we are redirected to products index. And in that products index, there is a search for products. For example, there can be searched by some query. And then if you have product ID as a parameter, you may add additional logic of searching for similar items by some category or tag or something like that. And then also, for example, you may pass the message. So if you have some product not found parameter, then you may show the message and in the blade, for example, show something like this. Let me show you how it looks. So now we refresh and we are redirected. See two parameters in the query show message and then product ID six. And then there's a friendly message that the product is not found showing similar items. In my case, it's just showing all the products. But again, you can implement some custom logic, for example, 
in this one statement. But also another way of dealing with the same thing is not necessarily in the controllers. You may skip this logic and instead put this logic in the routes. So instead of with trashed, you may add this directly in the routes. Route missing, this is the logic, and then you have request what is missing. Request route product is the parameter for route model binding. And for example, you can log what was the product ID and IP address or user ID or something like that. And then do the same redirect to index with product ID as a parameter. So that will also work. For example, we go to products three, but then we go to six and we are redirected back with those same parameters. So it's just where do you want to control that logic? in the controller, checking for trashed product, or directly in the routes with route missing logic. Missing actually works not only for soft deletes, it's general for route model binding. If the product is not found, if the model is not found, then this would be executed. So this code snippet could be used even if the product is hard deleted and missing from your database. And soft deletes is just one of the features of Laravel Eloquent. There are many more that I've packed in a course, Laravel 12 now, recently updated course, Eloquent Expert Level, with 30, almost 30 lessons about various more or less known features of Eloquent. So I will link that course in the description below. What do you think meanwhile about those soft delete examples? Did you learn anything new or would you have done something differently? Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.